Hello and welcome to God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad. I'm the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina. This week we are looking at part one of Daniel, and today we get a reading from the fourth chapter of Daniel. So let's get to it. Upon my bed, this is what I saw. There was a tree at the center of the earth, and its height was great. The tree grew great and strong. Its top reached to heaven, and it was visible to the ends of the whole earth. Its foliage was beautiful, its fruit abundant, and it provided food for all. The animals of the field found shade under it. The birds of the air nested in its branches, and from it all living beings were fed. I continued looking in the visions of my head as I lay in bed, and there was a holy watcher coming down from heaven. He cried aloud and said, Cut down the tree and chop off its branches. Strip off its foliage and scatter its fruit. Let the animals flee from beneath it and the birds from its branches. But leave its stump and roots in the ground with a band of iron and bronze in the tender grass of the field. Let him be bathed with the dew of heaven and let his lot be with the animals of the field in the grass of the earth. Let his mind be changed from that of a human and let the mind of an animal be given to him and let seven times pass over him. The sentence is rendered by decree of the watchers. The decision is given by order of the holy ones in order that all who live may know that the Most High is sovereign over the kingdom of mortals. He gives it to whom he will and sets over it the lowliest of human beings. This is the interpretation, O King, and it is a decree of the Most High that has come upon my Lord the King. You shall be driven away from human society, and your dwelling shall be with the wild animals. You shall be made to eat grass like oxen. You shall be bathed with the dew of heaven, and seven times shall pass over you, until you have learned that the Most High has sovereignty over the kingdom of mortals and gives it to whom he will. As it was commanded to leave the stump and roots of the tree, your kingdom shall be reestablished for you from the time that you learned that heaven is sovereign. Therefore, O King, may my counsel be acceptable to you. Atone for your sins with righteousness and your iniquities with mercy to the oppressed, so that your prosperity may be prolonged. So King Neb has another dream and he shares it with us. And he is scared of this dream, as he should be, because he is about to lose control and lose everything that he has worked hard at obtaining, power and control. To me, what Daniel is doing is preparing the king for what is about to happen. Now, Daniel cannot stop this from happening, but he can at least give the king a little heads up. Daniel is telling the king to atone for his sins, sins that include his treatment of the oppressed. So the king makes a big shift. He goes from praising himself to praising God, and he does a good job of it. But I think what we see here is what happens when we have people tell us the road ahead is going to be tough because people help us look out for the potholes and the traps on our journeys. Because we know when the bad is coming, we can prepare. We can continue to prepare for the rough road ahead of us during this pandemic by praying, reading our Bible continue to serving our neighbors, strengthening our relationships with our family and loved ones, building up foundations that will remain strong when times get tough. Because even when the road gets tough, we know that God, our God, is tougher. He is the toughest, and that is good news. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you tomorrow for another edition of God's Minute. Take care and God bless.